Okay, our first problem goes like this. What force exists between two charges of one coulomb separated by, there's two parts to this problem, first part is by one meter, and of course after we do that we want to see what the force is uh, between those same charges when they're one kilometer apart. So this is very much what you call a plug and chug kind of problem. You know what the Coulomb's law is that tells you what the force is um, between two charged objects, basically due to their charges. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the numbers here and see what we get for the answers. So remember that Coulomb's law is the following. The force is equal to, and it was 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, but we're going to use this constant that I told you is what it reduces to, 8.99 times 10 to the 9, right, times the first charge times the second charge over R squared. Right? And what we know is both charges are one coulomb, and the fact that there's no positive or negative in front of that, it means both of them are positive, just like you might think. If it doesn't say negative, then you assume it's positive, just like in algebra. So two charges, one coulomb, and they're separated uh, by, first let's do one meter. So what we're going to have is 8.99 times 10 to the 9, and over here you're going to have, it's one coulomb, and the other charge is one coulomb, they're both positive, we're just going to take the absolute values there, it's just the same thing, one. And you're dealing in coulombs up here, so you just put the one. On the bottom you're dealing in meters, so it's going to be one squared, the distance between the two charges. So this is a really simple problem, right? You've got one, one, and one squared, so the answer, if they're one meter apart, is 8.99 times 10 to the 9 newtons, because the answer you're going to get is going to be in newtons, it's a force. Now remember, force is a vector, it's a magnitude, how strong that force is, and it has a direction to it. Every force you've ever dealt with has been a vector. Right now, standing on the ground, the force of gravity is pointing down. It's a vector force pointing in a certain direction. Now this guy is a vector force also. So if you have two charges um, and they have both the same sign, are they going to repel each other or, or are they going to attract each other? You have to remember that from the first part. We said that like charges always repel. So, this force is repulsive, right? And just really briefly, I mean, this means that if I had my charge here and I had my charge here, and this is one coulomb and one coulomb, and this was one meter, then the force would be 8.99 times 10 to the 9 newtons pushing outward. It would be repulsive. They would be trying to move apart from one another, right? That's what that means. Now, notice <laughs> that... It's a huge force we calculated for this problem, and that's because one coulomb of charge is a huge charge. I mean, huge charge. We said one electron was 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. That's one electron. So this is a very huge charge, and that's why the force, if you, ha if you could ever build something with this much charge in two different objects, it would produce an incredible amount of force between them. Now, doing this is going to be almost impossible to do. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just, that's just a huge amount of charge. Now B is, what is the force if these guys are one kilometer apart? So it's the same sort of thing. It's 8.99 times 10 to the 9. Uh, charge 1 and charge 2 stay exactly the same. The only difference is the distance between them is one kilometer. But you know you, you never want to work with kilometers. You always want to work with meters. So it's 1,000 meters, and it's squared because it's R squared. So you'll have 8.99 times 10 to the 9, and you'll multiply, when you do this division here, 1,000 squared, 1 divided by 1,000 squared is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 6. And so the force, uh, when you do this multiplication, is going to be 89.90 newtons. And again, is it attractive or repulsive? We have changed nothing. We have two charges with the same sign. That means they repel each other, so it's repulsive. Or they repel each other. And notice that the, um, the force is a lot less because even though the charge is the same, I have separated these things by a huge distance, one kilometer, 1,000 meters. So the force, even though this is still a pretty big force, is much, much less than the original one. And that's because those guys are much, much farther apart in the second case. So Coulomb's law literally is just like the gravitational formula that you learned way back in physics one. So you have a lot of experience with dealing with that already.